Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to paint Shadow Heart's lower body. Without further ado, let's get to painting. We will start from the lower bodish last waist. Cover the entirety with Black Templar. This is a completely optional step as the piece is not going to be visible since the skirt covers it fully. Next part, the legs. We will take a bit of Morn Fang Brown and paint the under armor. Reusing Black Templar, we will paint the space between the armor and the feet. The soles can also be painted with Black Templar. Continuing on, we will take Iron Hand Steel and paint all metal plates on the leg and feet. Give it a good coverage with a couple of layers. In case you paint over the under armor, fix it as soon as possible. Once the metallic has fully dried, we will wash the entire piece with Nuln Oil. Do not let the oil pull too much on the recesses as it can go over some model details. Feel free to shade the under armor as well if you wish. After the shade has fully dried, we will start highlighting. Make a one-to-one -one mix of Mornfang Brown and Scrag Brown. Starting from between the armor panels on the legs, we will highlight the up-facing pieces of the under armor. Anything that is on the inside of the thigh or under it does not need highlights as it will most probably be covered by the skirt. Subsequently, we will add details of pure scrag brown to the existing highlights. This will complete the under armor highlights and now we can focus on the armor panels. Starting from bottom up, we will use Iron Hand Steel and highlight close to the edges and most flat areas that the light will hit. As there are a lot of places to highlight on the feet, knees and thighs, do take your time. Going over the same highlight we just did, we will add details of Storm Host Silver. Target the edges, highest areas and the middle of the flat areas. That would be all for the legs. You may pay the straps at thigh level with Rhinox hide if you want, but they are not going to be visible due to the skirt. Let's go now to the skirt. Starting with Demonet hide, we will paint all cloth and straps on the skirt. Avoiding the center part is recommended but not mandatory. We will paint that part with another color later on the tutorial. While our purple is drying, we will paint the metal part of the skirt. For that, we will use a couple of Iron Hand Steel layers. On top of that, paint the hemisphere looking part in the middle of the main strap. Using Mechanicus Standard Grey, we are now going to paint the central cloth that exists above our purple cloth. As there are some very small places, mistakes can happen to all of us. If such case arises, we need to clean up as soon as possible. Staying with Mechanical Standard Grey, we will paint the sides of the leather straps as well. Again, the areas are small and mistakes can happen. Clean up as soon as possible if anything happens. Here is the hardest and most time consuming part of the model. With the Retributor armor, we have to paint most of the details on the skirt. Apart from the color, we will need a small brush and a lot of patience. Start by painting the edges on the internal triangle on the center cloth, then using the belly of the brush, paint the small details on the side around the middle. Follow that with the outer edges of the center cloth and then proceed with the edges of the hemisphere. We also have to paint the edges on the metallic straps on the metal part of the skirt with Retributor armor. If you want, you can also paint their centers or their highest edges. Next up are the knobs on the end of the straps, followed by the moons on the belt. Keep in mind that you may have to go through the last two steps again as two layers give the optimal coverage. With the most time consuming and hard part behind us, we will make a one to one mix of Abaddon Black and German Grey and paint the eclipsed part of the moons on the belt. 
Since we are in a good place, it is time to wash our metallic with non oil. Go over both silver and gold while shading. As we wait for the shade to dry, we can start highlighting, making a one to one mix of grey sear and mechanical standard grey. We will go over the highest areas of the central cloth on the skirt. Following that, we will go and highlight the straps, using a mix of demonet height and jean stealer purple, roughly one to one. We will go over the most raised areas of the skirt, as well as some of the flat areas that the light will hit. Afterwards, with pure jean stealer purple, we will go through the highlight we just did and add details on top of them. By this time, the shade must have dried. If not, wait for it to fully dry. Using iron hand steel once more, we will go over the most flat areas and the edges of the metallic part of the skin and highlight them. Finally, with storm host silver, we will add details of bright silver over the metallic highlights. The result should be similar to this. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button and consider smashing the subscribe one. All colors used in this video are on your screen now. I was Miniature Ursus, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one. Unless you want us to meet earlier, in which case check this video out.